Okay, if everyone's arrived, Coach, thank you, sir. Uh, yes. We'll get started. Just want to welcome everybody to uh, the ceremony where Lawson is going to announce uh, his intentions of, of college choice. Uh, it was a great season. Lawson was a big part of that. We're very proud of him and his accomplishments, as are we proud of the team's accomplishments. And uh, at this time, we want to thank, first of all, thank our administration for, for allowing us this time, and thank you guys for showing up again and uh, being part of this. All right, at this time I'll turn it over to Lawson. I think he's got a few words to say and then we'll hear uh, time. I just want to thank everybody for coming today, being a part of this with me. Uh, I want to thank God for giving me the opportunity to play basketball. Thank my coaches and teammates, because without them this wouldn't be possible. Uh, thank my family, friends for being so supportive. Thank Alabama, UAB, and Auburn for giving me this tough decision. My decision came down to two things though. Which school I felt most comfortable at and where I see myself fitting in best at. And so the next four years, I'll be playing basketball for the University of Alabama. Uh, he's an NBA legend, NBA coach that everybody knows about. So just meeting him in general was awesome. And when he was telling me that they wanted me to be a part of the team and stuff like that, I, I, was, I was truly blessed and I was excited about it. Uh, I want to say it was last Thursday. I'm pretty sure it was last Thursday. Oh, it was. I, I probably slipped up and told so many people, but then I had to cover it up and be like, oh, but UAB Auburn. But I think a lot of people didn't see it coming. Oh, it's it's the biggest relief of all time. Uh, most stress I've ever had, hardest decision I've ever had to make. Because all three were good choices. I go to UAB. I'm part of a great program. Auburn, great program. So there's really not a bad decision or a wrong decision for me. It's just which is the best decision for me. Besides being an athlete, what's your plan as far as being a student? Uh, make good grades. What you gonna major? I don't know yet. Probably business. Something with business. <laughs> Can take over your dad's if he if he needs me to I I'll come in and say learn how to sell used cars. Oh yeah yeah I've, I've been around it long enough I know how. But how much has Coleman meant to you? I mean oh it, it's made me who I am. I'm I'm blessed to come from here. It's it's awesome. I'm a, I'm a miss playing for Coleman. Could you imagine you know stepping on the court as a freshman three years ago? That this is what you'd be doing? Never. That's why I always tell kids don't give up on your dreams and keep working hard. Obviously, walk-ons, never quite know. You know there's that risk, I'm sure. I mean, mm -hmm. how much does that push you to get oh, in there? That, I'm, I'm, it kind of makes me happy I'm a walk-on. It's going to make me work two times harder than the starters or the guys that got scholarships. I, I'm, I'm looking to get what they already have and then beyond that. So I'm going to go in and work my tail off and hope for the best. So do you think about your ability, you're going to push them to say, here I come, you better watch out, right? Yes, sir. Your dad's a huge Auburn fan, right? Oh, yeah, he's a huge Auburn. Does, does he still love you? He still loves me. <laughs> I, I think, I think. We'll see in the next few days about Stephen L.E. and stuff. So. When was the last time you received any contact from Coach Carl or any of the Auburn coaches? Uh, two days ago, Auburn called me, and uh, they were telling me about a player that got injured and mm -hmm. that was going to see playing time, and they wanted me to come. And uh, I, just, I just couldn't do that to Alabama. I'd already told them I committed and all that, so uh, I'm all Alabama. And what about you going down there? You played against the Mr. Basketball, the kid from Theodore. What about that? Uh, he's going to probably be my roommate. That The tweet that he tweeted out was true. Uh, we had talked about it when I went on my visit, and uh, that, that's going to be my roommate for the next four years. Is this something you dreamed about being in the Southeastern Conference? Uh, I, not really, but now I kind of do with the guys that got coming in, like Ben Simmons, Antonio Blakeney, and Malik Newman. It's going to be a fun year for the SEC. Well, what about the, when you get an opportunity to deal with the Coach Cal in Kentucky? <laughs> it's going to be fun. Thank you. Thank you, Gary, for coming. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. He'll provide uh, a lot of, of leadership for them and, and also be a great player on the floor. So, and, uh, so yeah, you knew he was going to be a special player uh, coming on the floor as a freshman and, and playing like a senior. Uh, he was going to do some big things.